Well, this is the first baseball video in a while. But here it is. Tigers signed Robbie Grossman to a two-year, $10 million deal. It's a decent deal for a guy who's been playing. He had a pretty good season last year. Um, and just um, 51 games, he hit eight home runs. That's pretty good considering the best season he ever had. He hit 11. And in 52 games with eight, possibility he could have reached like 20 home runs by the end of a 162 game season if he played like 140 games. I could be exaggerating that a little bit, but it's a possibility that he could have hit 20 home runs. And he had a batting average last year of 246. So, who knows? Um, the possibility of him um, DHing probably not going to happen because we need Miggy. And Miggy is going to be DH and we're not going to release Miggy. He's Miguel Cabrera. Why would we release him for all? Like, he's done so much for this organization. We can't release him. He loves Detroit. Detroit loves him. There would be a very long rant video if Detroit released Miguel Cabrera. But with our problem with our problem with striking out, and Nico Goodrum, as much as I love him, has a problem with hitting. Um, he batted like he batted under two hundred last year. Um, I get he's primarily defense, but if he could be a good hitter along with his gold glove level defense he'd be an amazing player but i think robbie grossman can definitely help with our um offense and we don't need help on defense our defense is solid offense we need more help on offense you know don't get me wrong nico goodrum is my favorite player i have his jersey in that closet right over there you want proof Here's, see, right there, Goodrum, 28, my favorite player, because I relate to him on a athletic level. Um, both me and him uh, can't hit, but we can field in the sport of baseball. And we both, we both play outfield, so that's why he's my favorite. Him and Miggy are my favorite on the team. But I like this, I like this Robbie Grossman signing. I mean, we got him two years, 10 million. On a team that's struggling, he can hit, and we need help with our hitting. He fills, he fills the need that we need him to fill. <laughs> we didn't make a bad signing or an overpriced signing. We made a pretty good signing in an otherwise slow winter around the MLB so far, and I'm actually excited for. I'm excited. For Tigers and Red Wings uh, baseball and hockey because the Red Wings and training camp in their scrimmage game today showed a lot of promise and the Tigers have made a few splashes here and there in free agency and some of their minor leaguers are coming up and I'm just really excited to see them play. So, hey, Who knows, Spencer T Torkelson might come up this year, who knows. But yeah. This is, a, this is a good signing, in my opinion. I know most people on my channel are subscribed for the Colts and Pacers content. And, you know, I don't make tons of Tigers and Red Wings content. But I'm going to make it when there's a signing and stuff. Because I'm a fan of it, you know. I'm going to make more videos about that. But, yeah. It's a good signing, in my opinion. I'm excited for Tigers baseball for the first time in a long time. We have not done very good. We went from a playoff contender to last in the division. In the beginning of the season, we were contending for a playoff spot. We were blowing out the Pirates. I get that's not a very big accomplishment because it's the Pirates and they aren't the best. But we aren't the best either. Like, there was promise. And then we started to suck. But we have promising prospects like Gregory Soto is a freaking beast out of the bullpen. I mean, the man can throw almost... I think he can throw... He can throw a 100-mile-per-hour fastball. Like, he could be a legendary reliever for us. Who knows? Maybe he'll even develop into a solid starter. 
I'm excited for this season, and Robbie Grossman just adds on to that. I'll see you guys next time.